Staying with us, well now we are tracking some breaking inputs on the terror attacks that were pertinent in the Valley region. Now top Jesh commander among the two terrorists have been killed in Kathua encounter. Now Jesh commander Rehan has been killed along with his PSO in Kathua. Uh, Jesh commander was carrying M4 rifle with night scope and Jesh frequency satellite communication device. Pakistan forces have also had a hand behind this terror attack that has killed uh, in Kathua. Uh, the entire conspiracy has been exposed. Now, Jesh terror, uh, terrorist was using micro satellite communication device procured by Pakistan Army, Navy, and Air Force. So, these are the latest inputs that we are tracking at this point of time where um, a Top Jesh commander is uh, among the two terrorists who've been killed in Kathua encounter. Now joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Tijinder. A very good morning, Tijinder. Take us through all the details of the killing of this top Jesh terrorist. Uh, yes, uh, this uh, top uh, Jesh terrorist was uh, tasked to carry out major terrorist strikes in Jammu region and uh, especially to target the SSP and DIG Kathua. Uh, they, they were tasked to kill the top leadership of the Jammu and Kashmir police. But we have been uh, informed by our sources uh, that Jash Commander Rihan, uh, along with his personal security officer, uh, was uh, killed during this operation in Kathua. Uh, he was carrying an M4 assault rifle, which is procured by the Pakistan Army from uh, the United States. Uh, the, uh, the, the M4 rifle was uh, equipped with night scope. And uh, he was also carrying a satellite uh, that is a uh, micro satellite communication device, which is procured by the Pakistan Army, Pakistan Navy, and the Pakistan Air Force. Even the micro satellites official website lists it as uh, a, a, a proud uh, partner with the Pakistan Army, Pakistan Air Force, and Pakistan Navy. So clearly exposing that all these equipments, uh, be it the micro satellite or the M4 rifle, assault rifle, was given to this Jash commander by the Pakistan uh, uh, Pakistan Army. So right. the uh, inputs which we have uh, clearly suggest that uh, Jash and Hezbollah leadership had met in Ravla court after the Riyasi terror attack in which 10 civilians were killed when the terrorists defied at a bus uh, full of pilgrims that was on its way from the Shiv Khodi shrine to Katra uh, to Mata Vaishno Devi shrine. Uh, 10 pilgrims were killed and more than 33 others were injured. Uh, Jash commander Razak and Hezbollah deputy commander Khalid met on June 10th. Uh, they, they also made a call to bleed India more like uh, what they termed yesterday's attack, that was uh, the Riyasi attack. Mm -hmm. So uh, during uh, several speeches by these terrorists were made and after that it seems that uh, these terrorists had freshly infiltrated into the Indian side from the international border and uh, uh, to carry out this uh, terror attack. But uh, uh, two terrorists, including the terror commander, uh, Rehan, along with his PSO, were killed by the security forces. And today, the operation has entered into the fourth day to eliminate other remaining terrorists. Yes. Right, Tejinder, help us also understand uh, with the micro satellites and rifles being discovered, this clearly indicates that there was a lot of planning and plotting uh, involved in the entire series of incidents that we've been seeing in the valley. Now, call to bleed for India, the statement that has come with the speeches. Tell us more about it. How is this likely going to unfold on the ground in future? Uh, see, uh, India has always been saying that the Pakistan army has been providing all support to these terrorists. Uh, they are trained by the Pakistan army. Pakistan army has a clear hand in formatting trouble in Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, Pakistan army, Pakistan uh, rangers on the international border, they help facilitate the infiltration of these terrorists into the Indian side. The recovery of micro-satellite, which is part of uh, the... Uh, uh, the equipment which is being used by the Pakistan Army, Pakistan Air Force and Pakistan Navy clearly exposes the fact that Pakistan Armed Forces are providing all type of logistics. Well, we 